Hello everyone and welcome to my series Let's Crack NEPG 2024 together. Like we had planned earlier that we will complete studying all the subjects, I mean all the high yield topics of the subjects from May 10th to June 10th. Today is exactly 10th of June. And today is the 32nd day of our preparation and the final day and we are done with the most vast slot of our schedule that is slot 5 so I can tick medicine of patho pharma and physiology also and see consistently we have managed to finish all the subjects till 10th of June that's what I said that you can take the proverb slow and steady wins the race we are done with the high yield topics of all the 19 subjects can you believe it and as I had shown you that day, I have completed the uh, slot 5 subjects from these uh, integrated systems in BTR. Also, I had asked those who don't have BTR subscription to go through the rapid revision videos and to complete all the high yield topics even if you would have read the pearls from Meru uh, you have touched almost all the high yield topics from these subjects so from my side I am done reading all the high yield topics from all the 19 subjects now comes the turn of what to do next I think we need to attempt a mock test today or those who won't be able to appear for the mock test today can appear it uh, tomorrow early in the morning. For information, Cerebellum's mock test is live. So I'll be appearing in that. If you are not comfortable, no need to reveal your marks or the scores. Just keep it with you. At least you should know that you are done with all the 19 subjects. You should be confident enough. And if you feel like sharing with me or about your scores, you are most welcome to do so. But the question is, what to do from tomorrow? Today I'll be appearing for uh, the mock test as I have said. So today I won't be able to start revising but appearing for a mock test is also a kind of revise, uh, revising the high yield topics right. So we should take it as a revision only. But from tomorrow that is 11 June we from 11 June to the D day that is the 23rd June the day of our examination we need to be really cautious of what steps we take to revise and so we need to build a strong revision plan as for me I will go through the most important PYQs the most important and repeated previous years topics in these few days and the most forgettable ones by forgettable ones I don't mean the tough and forgettable ones but I mean the most simple ones that are often repeated and yet we forget to mark it correct in our mock tests and all we should go through them repeatedly because the chances of such questions to get repeated are more than the chances of 
the tough and the forgettable ones so i will um, go through those topics first and um, since we are left with only for 12 days i will leave the last last two days 21 and 22 i will not take much stress the last two days i will make a strong revision plan only till 20th june now it's not possible at all for many of us to again go through all the points line by line page to page so we need a more concise way of revising the high level topics and what can be better than the youtube youtube can now help us in many ways because already many contents are available in youtube in a concise way especially the ones especially the btr videos which were uploaded by dr zaina bora ma'am uh, maybe last year yes those there are three episodes of those btr series you can go and check those out and those three i'll also go through those three videos again lots of common questions last year so i hope that this time also those um, questions uh, or topics get repeated so we cannot miss those three episodes in youtube which are freely available for everybody everybody can go and watch those episodes or those uh, btr series i will watch those series first and then the most important and most forgettable high yield topics which i had marked during and also the most important tables the classifications and many other such things those who are on full time job please and please try to take leave or day off during these few days only few days are left for your exams although the chances of me taking leaves are also very less during these days because i don't think i will be able to manage those leave but still i will definitely try to at least uh, take out one or two days in between so that i can revise wholeheartedly so that till exam i can confidently say that yes i have done my revisions well i know you all are studying very nicely because uh, nowadays everybody is very silent and good it's good for all of us to be focused on whatever we do that's why i was not uploading any um, updates from tomorrow i might not be able to um, give my updates to all of you uh, so i'll not be so regular with my updates but i hope you all will start revising with me um as i have planned as we all have planned together with all the best wishes and lots of good luck bye and see you all soon